Hi everybody, this is Mr. Williams here to talk to you about Chapter 8 of The Pigman by Paul Zendel. If you read the last chapter, you know we had a major plot twist, and this is supposed to be the chapter where Lorraine reacts to it, so let's see what happened there. Now, as I feel I must have referenced in the last video, Lorraine is the perfect character to narrate this chapter. She's the one that's more compassionate, more psychological, especially considering John is the other person who's the opposite of those items, and so she'll be able to provide some interesting insight to this situation and maybe not go overboard. Now, she may be paranoid, she may be nervous, uh, but she will be able to tell us what she's thinking because she always tries to look that other direction, whether it's the cricket or somebody else. She wants to think about what's going on. To add to this, we should be surprised there isn't more of an adverse reaction to the news that Conchetta is dead. It's similar to the idea when they find out that Bobo, the baboon, is his friend. They already know he's lonely, and they're not surprised, I think, by this information, but I'm still surprised that we don't get more of a reaction from this, and I think you should be as well. Now, Lorraine, like John, prefers the pigman to her mother, so once again, talking about those pairings, Chapter 7 and Chapter 8, we see those connections. In this case, Mr. Pignani, unlike the mother, has a little fun. She's not as demanding. Lorraine, I believe, recognizes the fact that her mom might have been like that in the past, but that circumstances have made her otherwise. Still, it's worth noting in this situation. And Mr. Pignani, just because we've covered both Chapter 7 and 8, the connection between these characters, provides a closeness for these characters that John and Lorraine really need in their lives. John's not connected with his father. Lorraine's having trouble connecting with his mother. I should also know that John is not connecting with his mother either. But still, there is this need for that in a person's life, and so this connection is important. Now, we also gain the setting is near or in New York City. It's actually Staten Island, most likely, because they're able to go to the Staten Island ferry without a car. They just meet there, and they're not too far away from New York. I believe Staten Island is the exact setting of this, but at the very, very least, we can say they're in New York City. Now, this video is going to be short because there's a big reading tonight, at least at the time I'm making this video. But let's look at the advanced inferences. And sorry, before I start that, let me note that I'm not covering everything here. Stuff about Dixie, a character that's at Staten Island, and about the mall scene. I'm skipping a lot of details. You should be aware of those details just in case there's a test or quiz on them in the future. But for advanced inferences, I want to note one thing, that learning that Conchetta's dead is not going to be the climax of the story. Climax is the major turning point, and we don't see anything really change after this scene. Everything goes on as normal because John and Lorraine ignore it and don't confront Mr. Pignotti. And looking at the mall scene, very little has changed in their friendship. They're still acting ridiculously. They're still being a little bit foolish, especially considering they're supposed to be adults, or at least Mr. Pignotti is. We should note that nothing's changed here, so it's not a major climax. It could be a climax for a smaller storyline or plot line in the story, a subplot even, but not for the major story. Now, I want to note that Lorraine still cares about her mom, just like John cares about his parents, although Mr. Pignotti is clearly someone that he likes. The stockings purchased shows that she wants her mom to be more like Mr. Pignotti, not that she wants her mom to be gone. And with Mr. Pignotti, just the, the money there, telling Lorraine she can have whatever she wants, it's a big temptation for someone that doesn't have a lot of money or is just told what to do all the time. There's a big difference between Miss Jensen and Mr. Pignotti in Lorraine's eyes. Now we have a new rising action and a new conflict, so we have to look at those. First of all, with Lorraine identifying Mr. Pignotti as being lonely and in denial, that's an internal conflict for Mr. Pignotti. We want to be aware of that. He was already lonely before, but the fact that he's denying the fact that his wife's dead, that's a much bigger conflict than anything we expected in the past. And also, Lorraine and John have to figure out how to handle the situation with their friend. They are clearly close to Mr. Pignotti. In the last two chapters especially, they've grown closer to him, and he's giving them something that their parents cannot give John and Lorraine. So they need to find a way to handle the situation because they want to keep this friendship and keep this connection. And like I said, this video is a short one, so if there are any questions about this chapter, feel free to contact me. But for now, thanks for watching.